The world in the 21st century faces so many problems which are complicated and non-prescriptive. From the euro to environment to uh, the use of energy, how to stop wars and famines. We're competing over resources. We're competing over who writes the rules for the global economy. But at the same time, we have a world of hyper-interdependence. The future of one country is completely linked to the future of the next. The problem is that we have an architecture of power which corresponds to the economic architecture of the 1970s. Science, technology, the market and economics are globalised. Politics are not. No one seems to have, not even the superpowers, the power that is needed to tackle the problems that the world is facing. The issues are across borders, with each other, so it's a huge enterprise. Governments can't keep pace and things change just so quickly. And the danger is that some of those challenges become very immediate and, and very, very problematic indeed. What are the new sorts of models that we can think about that will allow for the provision of public goods going forward? We need to think holistically. Get a more global perspective on problems and get a perspective from different points of view, from the private sector, from government, from academics, from think tanks and activists. Business, science and technology, media, they all have a seat at the table when decisions are deliberated on. It comes down to collaboration. There's no one company, no one country, no one an NGO or university that has all the answers. Be inclusive of many perspectives. That have both the depth to deal with the technical issues and the breadth to deal with all the linkages across the world. And if we don't try to tackle them in this multi-stakeholder approach, it's going to be very difficult to solve them. Constructive collaboration across knowledge boundaries and subject areas is what makes this network unique. We know what the world's most pressing challenges are. We have the opportunity to jointly shape the global agenda.